After holding a memorial service for their departed son, Brian Chege, without the body back in the village Wednesday, the Gertrude's Children's Hospital Management this morning promised to release Brian's body, but with conditions. But it's not the policy of Gertrude's Hospital to retain the bodies of deceased in lieu of payment. We enter into an alternative agreement in order to agree on how the funds can be settled there. The family had by Wednesday managed to raise four million through a funds drive back home, but the balance was still too high for them to raise in order to get the body of their son to bury. Kuji commit kwangu itakuwa na wandanganya juu siwe spata hizo pesa. Mi after marafiki, serikali, media wakiyodoka, mambo kuisha hakuna maringine na yasapata pesa. However, the hospital says they are willing to release the body once a payment plan for the pending bill is drawn up. Kama kulingana na familia hatuwezi tukauchukua mwili kabla ya kulipa hii bill. Kwa sababu tukitoa mwili hapa ni kumanisha ya kwamba atutakuwa na uwezo wa kugaramia hiyo bill. The family is however not happy with this outcome, claiming that the bill is exaggerated as compared to a previous bill they once had in India when their son was admitted for a longer period than this one at Gertrude's. According to the family, the hospital and the mortuary bill is beyond their financial capabilities, having already sold all they own to clear previous hospital bills for the boy and part of the current outstanding amount. The bill seen by K24 also bring to light the high cost of medical care in Kenya, with the cost of the room that the boy was housed in while in hospital alone coming to 4 million shillings. For now, uncertainty remains with the family saying that they still will not be able to raise the remaining amount. Dennis Matara, K24, Evening Edition.